Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an automated workflow that converts new SharePoint list item attachments to PDF in Power Automate. We'll mostly use built-in SharePoint connector actions in this flow, but we'll use the Cloudverse of Document Conversion Connector to actually convert our list item attachments to PDF. Before we get started, it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're going to start by clicking Create, and then we're going to select the Automated Cloud Flow option. I'm going to jump to the Flow Diagram page before I select my trigger. Let's open our trigger step. To automatically get new list item attachments from SharePoint, we need to find a trigger called when an item is created from the SharePoint connector. Once we find that trigger, we can find our SharePoint team site from the site address dropdown, and we can then find our list from the list name dropdown. If we haven't used this connector at all before, We'll need to configure our connection with SharePoint details first before we can access any of this. Now we need to get the attachments from our new list item. Let's add a new action, and then let's search for another built-in SharePoint action called Get Attachments. Let's select it once we find it. And let's then fill in our site address and list name details from the dropdowns once again. After that, we need to give Power Automate the ID of the list item we're getting attachments from. We can simply open the dynamic content window and insert information from data collected in our trigger step. Let's now add a new action once again. Our previous action retrieved information about our list item attachments, but it didn't get the actual attachment contents, and we'll need that content to make our conversion to PDF. Let's search for a SharePoint action called Get Attachment Content, and then let's select our site address and list name for the third time. In the ID field, we're going to grab dynamic content from our trigger step once again. And in our file identifier field, we're going to grab dynamic content labeled ID once again, but this time it's going to come from the get attachments action. We'll notice that Power Automate has automatically wrapped our get attachment content action in a for each control and that's because it knows each run of this flow will contain new file content. We're going to build the rest of our flow out from within the for each control. Let's now add a new action within the for each control. Now that we have our list item attachment content, we can convert that content to PDF using the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. Let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar, and let's scroll down until we find the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector. We can click See More to view the Actions list. And from here, we can scroll down until we find an action called Convert Document to PDF. Let's go ahead and select that once we find it. This API will automatically detect input file formats before making the conversion to PDF and it supports all major Office formats, HTML, and over 100 image formats. As a quick aside, if it's our first time using any actions from this connector, we'll need to create our connection first. The good news is we can make up to 800 API calls per month on any Cloudmersive connector with a free Cloudmersive API key, and we can get one of those by creating a free account on the Cloudmersive website. To configure our input request, we first need to grab dynamic content labeled attachment content from our get attachment content action. And we can then give our file a random name, 
or we can grab dynamic content labeled display name from the get attachments action. Now we have PDF file bytes ready to go in our flow, and we can write those file bytes to a new PDF document in a folder somewhere using a create file action. We can easily name our new file using dynamic content if we want. And when it comes time to insert file contents, we'll find our file bytes labeled output content from the Cloudmersive PDF conversion action. Now we can save and test our flow, which means we'll need to add a new list item with a file attachment to our SharePoint list. After we take care of that, our flow should run pretty quickly and we should end up with a new PDF document in the folder we specified. And that's all there is to it. Now we can automatically convert our team's SharePoint list item attachments to PDF. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about Cloudmersive connectors, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team. I've included a link in the video description below.